Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about histology of mammalian liver. As you all know, liver is the largest gland which is situated at the right side in the abdominal cavity just below the diaphragm. Liver is an exocrine gland. It secretes bile juice which will be conveyed to duodenum through a system of duct which is the main function of the liver. Apart from that, liver stores nutrients like glucose, lipid, vitamin, ions, etc. And it also detoxifies the harmful substances which is present in the blood. I will explain about these functions like how bile juice is conveyed to duodenum, how it stores the nutrients, how it detoxifies the harmful substances which is present in the blood while explaining the histological structure itself. Liver is covered by a connective tissue capsule called as a glissens capsule. The part of this connective tissue even it will extend into the parenchyma part or interior of the liver as a septa or trabeculae which divides the liver into mainly two lobes. The larger right lobe and the smaller left lobe. The larger right lobe is also divided into further two lobes. Therefore, in total, liver has four lobes. Each lobes of the liver made up of a smaller unit called as liver lobules. The lobes have thousands of liver lobules. Therefore, liver lobule is a structural and functional unit of the liver. If you observe each liver lobule, it is roughly hexagonal in shape. And each liver lobule is surrounded by a thin layer of a connective tissue. So because of the presence of this connective tissue, liver lobules look like hexagonal in shape. Each liver lobule made up of mainly two components that is liver cell and the blood channels. Liver cells are also called as hepatocytes. These are the hepatocytes. And these hepatocytes are arranged in irregular branching interconnected plates. And they are called as hepatic cord. Hepatic cords. And these hepatic cords are arranged in a radiating fashion from the central vein. The vein which is present at the center of each lobules are known as central vein. And each hepatic cords are arranged in a radiating fashion from the center to the periphery. And these hepatic cords are arranged in one or two cell thick like a bricks of the wall. And these hepatic cords are the secretory parts of the liver. That is, these hepatocytes are the one which secretes bile juice. If you observe individual hepatocytes, they are cuboidal or polyhedral in shape. So these are the individual hepatocytes which are polyhedral in shape with the large central nucleus. In between the two hepatocytes, very minute channel is present which is known as bile canaliculi. The bile juice which are secreted by these hepatocytes or the liver cell are emptied into this bile canaliculi. From this bile canaliculi, bile juice later conveyed to duodenum or the small intestine through the duct known as bile duct. Between the hepatic cords or the hepatic plates, blood channels are present and they are called as sinusoids. These sinusoids are the intralobular system of a blood channel. Intra means inside. So intralobular, inside the lobule, the blood channels are present and they are known as sinusoids. These sinusoids are lined by an endothelium. As you can see in this diagram, this is a sinusoid which are lined by a layer of endothelial cells. Between the endothelial cells and the adjoining liver cell, a small space is present. And this space is known as a space of disease. This space of disease is of great importance because it consists of special type of cell which performs the main function of the liver. For example, it has a first type of cell known as a stellate cell. And the function of this stellate cell is it has a capacity to accumulate the vitamin A in the lipid droplet. So vitamin A which is present in the blood will be accumulated by this stellate cell in the lipid droplet. So which is the main function of the liver. So liver function is it will store the nutrients which is present in the blood. Second type of cell known as Kuffer cell is present. 
These kufar cell have pseudopodial process and they are phagocytic in nature. So main function of this kufar cell is it will engulf the foreign particle like pathogen or bacteria or any other harmful chemical will be engulfed by this kufar cell which is the main function of the liver. So liver detoxifies the harmful substances which is present in the blood and that is done with the help of this Kuffer cell. So Kuffer cell will engulf whatever the harmful substances which is present in the blood. So that is about the component of the liver lobule. As I already told, each liver lobule is surrounded by a thin layer of a connective tissue. And this connective tissue at certain angle forms a mass or islands of connective tissue with the branches of ducts and the blood vessel. And that part is known as portal area or the portal canal. So portal area or the portal canal is a mass of connective tissue with the branches of duct and the blood vessel. It is somewhat triangular in shape and it consisting of branch of bile duct, branches of hepatic artery and branches of portal vein. These three structure together called as portal triad. So portal triad consisting of branch of bile duct, branch of hepatic artery and branch of portal vein. What is the function of these three structures then? The hepatic artery is the one which carry oxygenated blood to the hepatocyte or to the liver. Whereas the portal vein is the one which carry the blood which is rich in nutrients from different parts of the digestive tract to the liver. Like the blood from the intestine, spleen and the pancreas which is rich in nutrients are carried to the liver via portal vein. Whereas the bile duct is the one which carries the bile juice away from the hepatocyte and it convey this bile juice into the duodenum. So that is the function of these three structures which is together called as a portal triad. The blood from the hepatic artery and the portal vein now enters the sinusoid. Sinusoid is a space between the hepatic plate or hepatic cord. In the sinusoid, the exchange of gases the nutrients and detoxification of the blood takes place. After this process, the blood from the sinusoid moves towards the center and at the center, it enters the central vein. The central veins of all the lobules join together to form hepatic vein. So hepatic vein is the one which carry all the blood from the liver and it carry it to the heart. So that is how circulation takes place in each liver lobule. At the corner or at the edge of the each portal area or the portal canal, between the connective tissue and the adjoining liver cell, a small space is present and that space is known as space of mole. So space of mole is a space which is present between the connective tissue of the portal area and the adjoining liver cell. The blood vessels of the portal triad gives its branches to the adjoining liver lobule. For example, the area of the liver lobule which is supplied by the branches of the portal vein is called as portal lobule. So this is the one portal triad and the portal vein is present here and this portal vein sends its branches to the adjoining three liver lobule and this area is called as portal lobule. One more is hepatic acinus. Hepatic acinus is an area of the liver lobule which is supplied by the hepatic arteriole which runs along the junction of the two lobule. So this is a region where the hepatic arteriole is present at the junction of the two hepatic lobule and it sends the branches into these two lobules and that area is known as hepatic arsenus. So that is all about the different types of cell and different types of structure that is present in the liver. I hope this video will be useful. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.